In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Good morning and a warm welcome to St Cynog's Church here in Estragonlais and in the ministry area of Tawe Ichav. Uh, today's theme is uh, Jesus preparing a place for his disciples in heaven. Father of glory, holy and eternal, look upon us now in power and mercy. May your strength overcome our weakness, your radiance transform our blindness, and your spirit draw us to that love shown and offered to us by your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. As we prepare to meet the risen Lord, let us now humbly confess our sins. Heavenly Father, we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and have failed to do what we ought to have done. We are sorry and truly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and lead us in his way to walk as children of light. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on us, and set us free from sin, strengthen us in goodness, and keep us in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Collect and the readings for today, the fifth Sunday of Easter. Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, have overcome death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life, grant that as by your grace going before us, you put into our minds good desires, so by your continual help we may bring them to good effect. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. But filled with the Holy Spirit, Stephen gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they covered their ears, and with a loud shout all rushed together against him. Then they dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. And the witnesses laid their coats at the feet of a young man named Saul. While they were stoning Stephen, he prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. When he had said this, he died. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me. Into your hand I commit my spirit. 
you have redeemed me. In you, O Lord, I see refuge. Do not let me ever be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me. Incline your ear to me. Rescue me speedily. Be a rock or refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me. You are indeed my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that is hidden for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Listen to the Gospel of Christ according to St. John. Jesus said to them, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, but if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. One of the great discoveries for me in recent weeks is how we all communicate in new ways via social media. In the last week I have discovered Zoom, and as a family, we've been doing quizzes together online. It's also wonderful to see thousands of people singing and sharing on different Facebook pages. Even worship has become quite popular on this platform. A couple of weeks ago, the Big Night Inn was on television, where celebrities filmed themselves at home, acting out sketches and singing songs. One song was, Is This the Way to Amarillo? Peter Kay, with Tony Christie's voice, was on film, along with the NHS staff, uh, teachers, refuse collectors, bus drivers, and other frontline key workers, dancing to the song, which never made the top 40 when first released in the 1970s, but became quite a phenomenon in 2005 for comic relief. During our lifetime, we have all had to ask the way to some place or another during a car journey, in an unfamiliar city, or in a hospital. Quite often we can be looking too hard 
and the place we're looking for can be right in front of us. We just cannot see the wood for the trees. Today's Gospel is set in the Upper Room on Holy Thursday, or Monday Thursday. Jesus and the disciples had just finished ha uh, having their final meal together. Uh, he told them that he was going to prepare a room for them in heaven. Don't let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe in me, he tells them. A few minutes earlier, Jesus had predicted that Peter would deny him three times. There is a room prepared in heaven even for Peter. That must have made a huge impression on the disciples. How could someone forgive in such a way? They must have wondered how on earth could they forgive other people like that? If that was the way to heaven, how could they ever know the way? No wonder Thomas asked him, how can we know the way? To be able to forgive like Jesus forgives does seem an enormously difficult thing for us to do. Whilst it should never be an excuse for withholding forgiveness, we cannot be expected to be as perfect as our Lord. However, we should try our best. As a church, as God's Easter people, we need to seek ways to be more like Jesus in the way we live our lives, in our prayer life, in our worship and adoration, and in our forgiveness of others. Rather than condemning, we need to encourage others to become more like Christ. The author of the letter to the Ephesians wrote, be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. When Jesus responded to Thomas's query, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. These are some of the most famous words our Lord ever spoke. In a cathedral in Worms in uh, Germany, those words are on display in scores of different languages. If any visitor notices that the words don't appear in their own language, they are invited to write them in a book provided. So when I was there on holiday a few years ago, I wrote, in the book. I haven't been back since to see if they have displayed uh, the Welsh words. However, my handwriting is so terrible, I would have to forgive them if they hadn't. When the disciples first heard those words, they felt helpless. They felt that they didn't have the ability to live up to the expectations laid upon them. And yet Jesus doesn't make things difficult for us. We tend to make things difficult through living complex and frenetic lives. We cannot see our way. We cannot see the wood for the trees. Our Lord didn't rush around from one place to another. He took his time to answer people's call. For instance, when he was told that Lazarus had died and when Jairus begged him to heal his daughter, Jesus took his time. Jesus spent time alone in prayer and adoration, usually early in the morning, using his time to connect with his Father, getting things clear in his mind. This is the way, the truth, and the life Jesus encourages us with. This is the way to heaven. All we are asked to do is to live lives of simplicity, making time to pray and do little acts of kindnesses, just as St David, our patron saint, taught us. Mother Teresa once said that each little drop in the vast ocean is important. Without our little drop, it wouldn't be the same. Heaven won't be the same without our contribution, however small or unimportant we may think it is. St Paul once told the people of Athens that our purpose is to seek God and perhaps reach for him and find him, though he's not far from each one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being. We can know the way to heaven and we can have glimpses of heaven here and now. All we need to do is make room and make time. In that stillness, ask our Lord for the way and he will do it. We need to be ready and available to hear.
we now affirm our faith in the words of the Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified in the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. My brothers and sisters, with joy at Christ rising from the dead, let us turn to God our Father in prayer. He heard and answered the prayers of the Son who loved us so much. Let us trust that he will hear our petitions. Let us pray for the Church throughout the world, that the bishops of the Church will always lead us in the way, in the way, the truth and life of the risen Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray for the work of Christian aid and for their work with the poorest people of our world. May we be generous in our support for that important ministry of care. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us give thanks for the selfless and courageous service and sacrifice of those who brought peace to Europe and for the example they have given to us. We pray too for nations still devastated by war, for their people and their leaders, and for those who suffer the effects of memories of past wars, for those who mourn, and for all innocent victims whose lives have been shattered by the cruelty of others. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray for the sick and those who care for them that Christ may be the cornerstone of their lives. For all COVID-19 victims and their families, for all who work in the NHS, that Christ may be a firm hope in times of trouble. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear our prayers, Father, as we place our hope in you, in your unfailing goodness. Grant that in prosperity we will not lose our zeal, and in adversity have faith and endurance. This we ask through Jesus the Lord. Amen. Jesus says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. If you love me, rejoice, because I am going to the Father. May the peace of the Lord be with you always.
blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, that through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, that through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. True and living God, at the source of life for all creation, you have made us in your own image. Always and everywhere we give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. Because in these days of Easter, we praise you with joyful hearts in thanksgiving for your saving works, since in the paschal mystery of your Son, you have brought light to your children through the hope of eternal life. Through the one perfect sacrifice offered on the cross, he has restored us men and women to his own image, opened the gate of heaven, and regained for us the hope of glory. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we praise your holy, glorious name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed are you, almighty God, because on the night he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took bread, and when he had given you thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup. When he had given you thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This cup is the new covenant in my blood, poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come in glory. Therefore, loving God, recalling now the sacrifice of Christ your Son, once for all upon the cross, and the triumph of his resurrection, we ask you to accept this our sacrifice of praise. Send your Holy Spirit on us, and on these gifts, that we may be fed with the body and blood of your Son, and be filled with your life and goodness. Unite us in Christ with the Blessed Virgin Mary and all your saints in heaven, and give us your peace, that we may do your work and be his body in the world, through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. As we greet our risen Lord, let us pray as he taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For 
thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, for we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is gracious, his love is everlasting. Eternal God, whose Son, Jesus Christ, is the way, the truth, and the life, grant us to walk in his way, to rejoice in his truth, and to share his risen life, who is alive and reigns now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May God the Father, by whose glory Christ was raised from the dead, strengthen you to walk with him in his risen life. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and all whom you love, this day and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. In the name of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia.